plug my servo in, take my battery and connect my battery. Okay, now the, the way this circuit will work is when I turn it on, you can see the little indicator light comes on here. That says that it's got power. Now the other little indicator light that's right over here will turn on when it tilts and our servo will move. So as the rocket tilts over at Apogee, you can see the servo move. So we'll turn off the circuit and now we know how we need to mount the servo to line it up. We need to have it to where the horn is sticking out of the rocket body. So I'll slip it in place. Once I've got it in place then I'm going to bend those little wires over to hold the servo in place. Now, the first thing it, you got to mark, remember I marked on, on the door here where the servo went. And so that's going to be the first part of our opening. And we need that to go enough of a distance for the arm to come through. So I'm going to just slide it into place a little bit and line it up and figure out how far over I've got to make that opening for the servo to clear. And the easy way to do that is push your servo just enough to where it clears the body. And then you slide, slide your nose cone on and you line up your edge at the door. And then at that point you can mark how wide you need to have the opening so that your horn is completely clear. Now with that marked you want to cut it and then you're ready to sl slide it in. Now with my opening cut in for the servo horn. We're ready to put the assembly together here. Now basically once you've got it on you want to make sure that everything lines up, that you're getting it, all the pieces on where they need to go, that you have access to all the points so I can take like a little screwdriver and I can turn it on and off. I have an opening here enough that I can reach in to grab the servo power connection. I have a big enough opening that I can grab